Hello guys, welcome back to AC1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the AC1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to find the shear force and bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam. You can see here there is a cantilever beam as there is only one fixed support here on the left end. And there is a triangular load acting on the right side of the cantilever beam. The total length of the beam is 10 meter and for up to 5 meter there is no load from the left end and then the last 5 meter there is a triangular load of 3 kN per meter. So we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this type of beam and with this type of loading. So to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram the first step will be to find out the support reactions. So we have only one support so all the load will be resisted at this support. So we, we know that the fixed support can also resist bending moment so there will be moment MA and also this is also provide the vertical resistance so we can write it here RA. So the whole load coming on the right side of the beam will be taken by this left side of the beam. So RA we have to find the RA and MA then we can go to the next step which is the shear force. So to start with the shear force, to start with the support reactions RA we can take help from this formula that the summation of y vertical force is, is equal to 0. So by bringing all the vertical forces equal to 0 we can find out the RA. So RA is acting upward and this is acting downward. So I can write it here RA will be equal to the all coming load on this beam. And how to find this load on the beam because it is a distributed and a triangular distributed load. So we can find the area of this triangle. So how to find the area of this triangle? Area of this triangle can be found out half base into height. This is the formula used to find out the area of a triangle. So it will be equal to the half base is 5 meter here. Multiply with the height. With the height is 3. The height is equal to the load acting, the maximum load acting on this, on this beam. So height is 3 here. So by multiplying these two values and dividing we get 7.5 and this area is basically the load acting on this beam. So 7.5 kN is the load acting on this beam and it will be resisted by this support. So RE will be equal to the area under this uh, triangular diagram which comes out to be 7.5 kN so RA is equal to 7.5 kN. This is the easy way to find out the support reaction. So I can write it here 7.5 kN. Now the next step is how to find the moment at support A. So we know that there is a load of 7.5 kN acting on this side of the beam which is on the right side of the beam. And this load is supported by this support reaction. Now for the moment we will also use this value of 7.5 kN which is the load acting of this triangular load. So this load will acting at the centroid of this triangular beam of this triangular load. This is the 7.5 kN load. I can write it 7.5 kN which is the resultant load of this whole area of this whole area under the triangular. So this is the resultant load which will act at a two-third of five meter and this distance from this support will be two-third two-third of five because if I draw here the triangle so the tri the centroid will be here if this I consider the whole length L so from this in it will be two-third of L and two-third of L right and this will be one-third of L this distance so this distance from this in up to the centroid of the triangular it will be two-thirds of length where the L is 5 meter. So this will be the one moment arm for this load and adding with this moment arm which is 5 meter you see here. So this will be the total moment arm for this resultant load acting at the right end of the beam. So 7.5 is the load. So we can write it here the total moment acting at the support A will be equal to the resultant load 7.5 is the load multiplying with the moment arm. Now the moment arm will be taken from this resultant load up to this end of the beam. So we know that the, this is equal to the 2 by 3 of 5. 
and aiding with this 5 meter which is extra length so this comes out to be if we multiply these all values it comes out to be 62.5 kilonewton and meter this is the movement coming and support and can supported by this a point 62.5 kilonewton meter so this amount of movement is coming on this support a so now we found out the support reactions are a and the movement at the support a so these are the important values and with the help of these two values we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for the specific type of beam with the specific type of loading now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram first i have to draw the reference lines so this is the reference lines for the shear force and this is the reference line for the bending moment so these are also the reference lines here these are the main points we should draw the reference line only on the main points where the value of the loading changes or where there are support supports in the beam we should draw the reference line only at those points so these are the important uh, lines which we draw according to our beam you see here this line is drawn according to the support condition and this line i draw here because the load starts from here and this is the end of the beam so all those points where the load changes are where there is support provided in the beam we should draw the reference points so now this is the zero zero shear force this is the shear force i write it here and this is in kilonewton and the second one is for the bending moment and this in the unit of kilonewton meter and this is also zero zero now we know that the support reaction a 7.5 kilonewton is acting upward so this is a shear force so i will draw 7.5 here upward this is 7.5 kilonewton this is a shear force line now then there is no load here at this point at this five meter length of the beam so i will draw a straight line here because there is no load acting on in this portion of the beam then again the load the triangular load is acting on the beam so this is a one degree load you see here there is a proportional line of one degree so if a load is one degree so our shear force will be a second degree line because the shear force is always one degree greater than the load diagram this is a one degree so shear force will be two degree but now we should know that how much this load is acting we found out that the area of this triangular is six is was six seven point five kilonewton so it means the seven point five kilonewton is acting downward this was acting upward seven point five but this is acting downward so it will bring this seven point five downward so this is seven point five in the positive direction while this is acting negative so we can see here that this is negative seven point five so it will cancel with each other and it will bring it at zero so this now is a second degree line because this shear force diagram should always be greater should be always one degree greater than the load diagram load is one degree so this is two degree and also this is 7.5 in the upward but it cancel out with the negative 7.5 so breaking the value zero here now how to find the bending moment we can find out the bending moment diagram easily from the shear force or directly from the load diagram so we know that the the support a can resist 62.5 kilonewton meter or we can see the low the total movement coming on at this point is 62.5 kilonewton meter so i can simply write here it here 62.5 kilonewton meter is a show shown here the unit here on the right side of the reference diagram so 62.5 coming here from this end this is the 62.5 this is the bending moment diagram value and here if we look at this point there is no support reactions here at the right side of the beam so it cannot support any bending moment so this will be zero so we know that there are two points here now in the bending moment one is zero and one is the maximum bending moment which is 62.5 and this bending moment i draw negative now why i draw the negative bending moment because the cantilever beam always takes the negative bending moment 
while the simply supported beam always take pass to bending moment. If I draw here the simply supported beam, so the bending moment is always positive here at this and we provide the steel at the bottom of this or at the bottom of the cross section while in case of the cantilever beam the it always make a negative bending moment so there will be reinforcement at the top of the cross section this is the main reason that why we take the moment here at the cantilever beam is a negative bending moment so I draw it here negative because the cantilever always take moment is negative now how to draw the line from this point up to this point we know that this is a secondary line in the bending moment this line will now be a third degree line so if I draw here to this point so this will be a third degree line because the bending moment degree line is always one degree greater than the shear force and two degree greater than the load diagram so this is a third degree line now a cubic line we can say now this is the third degree line and we we want to find here the value of the bending moment at this point so what is the value of bending moment here at this point which is we can take it here from this end up to this load so just we have to find the moment from this centered load up to this point so how we can find we know that the 7.5 kN is the load acting on this beam and we just multiply with the moment arm which is here and we know that this moment arm is 2 by third of 5 so load is load is 7.5 multiplied by the 2 by third of 5 so by multiplying this value we get 25 so 25 is the bending moment here at this point so we can get here 25 but it will be negative because the moment here is acting negative as I shown here that always this load creates a negative bending moment here at this point so it will transfer here to this point which is 62.5 at the end so this will now I can draw a line from, from this 25 to 62 but how this line will be is we see here this is a 0 degree line this is a 0 degree line so the bending moment will be a 1 degree line because the bending moment is always greater than the 1 degree always greater a 1 degree from that of the shear force diagram this was a 0 degree line of shear force so this will be 1 degree so hope you guys understand that how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram especially for this type of problem which is quite complex in which we have a triangular load so the first step is to find out the support reactions by the basic equation of the summation of vertical forces and summation of moment then we can draw the shear force easily and from the shear force we can draw the bending moment diagram by looking into the degree of the shear force simply the bending moment should always be greater than the one degree from that of the shear force and shear force should be one degree greater than that of the load diagram for daily civil engineering videos please subscribe our channel thank you for watching our video